But we start with that big news coming out of Aston Villa Football Club. Sky Sports News HQ understands that they will name Remy Gard as their new manager on a three and a half year deal. We believe that Gard will be at White Hart Lane for the Monday night football uh, against Villa as they take on Tottenham. A caretaker manager Kevin McDonald taking charge in the dugout. And Gard will take over a team in crisis. Aston Villa have lost their last four Premier League matches. The last defeat was home to Swansea just over a week ago, after which Tim Sherwood was sacked. And that result left Villa bottom of the Premier League with only four points from ten matches. Gard's first game in charge is likely to be against the leaders, Manchester City. That's next Sunday. A caretaker manager, McDonnell, says only time will tell if Gard is a good appointment. He's got a good pedigree as a coach, um, and obviously they, you know, the, the hierarchy think that he's the man for the job. You're all, you're old school, though, Kev. You know, everyone's talking about you need you need somebody with Premier League experience. You need a good old fashioned, you know, your Sam Allardyce with your tin hat on worked last week, didn't it, at Sunderland? Is that not what's needed here, rather than a foreign coach? Only time will tell, because at the end of the season, if there's if Aston Villa still in the Premier League, then it's a good appointment. Arsene Wenger came in, never had any Premier League experience. He's not done too badly, has he? If they speak French, obviously it's going to be easier for them to understand how they want to play. Um, but let's hope he speaks just as good English as he does French, because we're in England, do you know what I mean? When I went to uh, Fiorentina, I had to learn Italian. Some, certain things that I didn't really understand, but I had to try and adapt. Um, so... You know, as, as long as it comes as a free man. Well, here's a bit more information about Remy Gard. He made 43 appearances for Arsenal between 1996 to 1999. He was assistant manager at Lyon to Paul Le Guin, uh, where they won back-to-back -back League One titles. And then uh, Gerard Houllier, uh, he also had a role as Lyon's academy director. He was appointed Lyon head coach in 2011 and went on to win the French Cup in his first season. He left Lyon in 2014 for personal reasons and has since been working for the French television station Canal Plus. Gard would become the sixth Frenchman to manage in the Premier League. The most recent appointment was Gerard Houllier as Aston Villa manager in September 2010. He'd previously managed Liverpool from 1998 to 2004. Alain Perrin managed Portsmouth for a short time in 2005. Jacques Santini was in charge of Tottenham for just 155 days in 2004. Fulham appointed uh, Frenchman, another former Lyon manager, Jean Tigana, in July 2000. He was at uh, Craven Cottage for three years. And the first French manager in the Premier League was, of course, Arsene Wenger. He's managed the North London club since October 1996. And Remy Gard, uh, the player, was actually one of Wenger's first signings. Remy's an intelligent uh, man uh, with now an experience in Lyon and uh, he uh, will uh, try to get his ideas through, his ideas that he got through in Lyon and uh, hopefully can work. Uh, they have uh, five or six uh, French players there who have not all had not all an impact. Maybe we'll give them a chance. Hopefully he will be given time. Uh, I believe Sherwood was not given time, Lambert was not given time to turn things around. And, uh, Many very good managers uh, uh, failed there. I don't know why exactly. You need to know in internal uh, problems inside the club that I don't know. So, God set to take over at Villa. And as we said, we understand he will be at White Hart Lane for the live Monday night football to watch his new side take on Tottenham Hotspur. That's on Sky Sports 1. Coverage begins at 7 p.m. Now to a